Apple, là, ça enregistre. D'accord. Uh, um, ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, this is Professor Rolo Janissenkunku, the first uh, doctor of philosophy in international petroleum, minerals and energy, where Laura Kwachita, permanent expert, attorney and a diplomat of the United Nations. And uh, as you know, that uh, we, uh, uh, we won election at uh, New York, so waiting the transfer of power as uh, Secretary General of uh, United Nations. Today, we are November, uh, November 8th, and uh, we came to meet our people from Tunisia. Uh, as, uh, there are many, many atrocities in Tunisia and around the world. People, uh, that's the seat. People cannot uh, speak freely, but uh, we stand, we stand, we stand for that. So it's not because who are from Africa, we don't have a right to have a dignified life, we don't have a right to live in a democratic country, and we don't have a right uh, to, live, uh, to live with our family. When we, we, we win election, we don't have a right to take the seat when we win election. Election overturned that 600, more than 600 times. Okay, and uh, we meet also uh, our sister for Thailand. So, just a short message, uh, short message for people of Thailand that uh, we are with you. Uh, we don't get United Nations does to get uh, interference in politics, but the people of uh, Thailand have a right. Bangkok and other village have a right to live with uh, economic prosperity. Uh, economic prosperity, health, uh, have a right also to have a job to benefit our program of job for all and uh, economic prosperity and uh, health, a scholarship, they have a right to have education so and uh, to live in peace in their country and abroad. Okay? Uh, okay. So, J'étais en. Donc j'ai rencontré euh, M. Abd Abderazak, qui, qui est ancien diplomate de l'ONU et qui était devenu bâtonnier en Tunisie. Ici, je l'ai. Donc on a, on a échangé ensemble. On pouvait voir ça, c'est des atrocités. Il était lui-même en, en prison. Il était lui-même en prison. Donc vous pouvez voir journaliste d'investigation actuellement en prison pour avoir dénoncé le financement malsain de la campagne électorale. Donc un journaliste en prison. There is no freedom of a journalist here. Uh, Samira Shaoshi, uh, you, you see, uh, under intimidation and uh, many, many, many people. So uh, it's not because we are African, we don't have a right to live with dignified. Uh, dignify. Uh, life. So in Switzerland, they make us sleep on the floor. Uh, we cannot allow that. And also, it's a, oh, uh, it's a, um, Obama is making many posts, many posts. Over 600 over two election, it was Obama. What Obama do from, from president, he get a law just to manufacture. When I win, he remove. They said, "Okay, put it on her. Put it on her." They remove my name and they put the name of his candidate. Okay, when I I, I got majority, that I win election, and until until now, more than 600. I don't have time to 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 get in low level because this is reality. People are dying. People are in prison, not in Tunisia, but everywhere around the world. Around the world. For uh, for America, I told you I was very clear that uh, uh, we call with Elon Musk, we call Republican to come back for balance of power. But uh, that is not enough to change the system. Look at I work at the United Nations and many many. Uh, Antonio Guterres, Antonio Guterres was in, in human rights. I think 
HR or droit de l'homme, but me, I'm in petroleum, at the United Nations, in petroleum. So, I would again confiscate my, I don't have, as African and Congo, I don't have a right to benefit of my money. I don't have a right to see my wife and my children. I don't have a right um, to live a dignified life. When you live, or when we win election, you don't have a right to benefit of this mandate. They close the door. Why, why, why Africa cannot live a dignified life? Why Africa cannot live in peace? Why African cannot, cannot benefit the progress of its own natural resources? Why African cannot speak freely? They have to put you, they have to call your president to put you in jail. This is a diplomat of the United Nations they put in jail. We, we have a meeting this morning and we talked. We talked with the community of Tunisia why Africa cannot have a dignity. They deny, even if to go to give dignified uh, burial to my mother. So I cannot, why Africa cannot see where your parents, they kill your parents, you cannot see to give them dignified life. Why? Why? So that's the question I came to solve here. Let us come together. Let us come together to, to build peace for all. Peace for Africa, but peace for other countries. Uh, as uh, you see, the situation is difficult for women. And uh, uh, how Janine Piro, Janine Piro judge, just to speak, have to wear pink, or have to put four here. I don't put four of Freemasonry. It's a shit. I don't put uh, pink, pink of Freemasonry to speak. I'm a free man. I'm a free man. But Janine Piro live in the country called the United States of America. Cannot speak. She's a judge, but uh, she has to put pink to speak. In a critical time, I save this woman. How uh, my, my ancestor Clarence, the judge Clarence, cannot speak because we say that abortion, we cannot allow. You enroll a woman in Freemasonry, you give them, and you abandon them pregnant. And because we, you have hundred women, you, you, you make sexual assault, sexual assault get pregnant, hundred, four hundred women, and you force them abortion. That is not, let us woman choose by herself. If she feels that she cannot keep the baby, she has to meet law criteria. The law says that only the, some circumstances you, you can make abortion if the, the pregnant make the woman life in danger. We cannot lose woman and the baby. So we, and unfortunately, we have to remove, uh, we have to make abortion if the pregnancy make a danger. But uh, not a Freemasonry come, you have to abort, make abortion if, if not my wife will know that I cheat with you. You have to make abortion if my wife, no. If my mother uh, make abortion, I could not be, I could not fight for we people around the world. I could not be alive. So that uh, a small message today was November 8, 2022, uh, people of Tunisia, le peuple tunisien, sachez que nous sommes avec vous, nous sommes avec vous, il faut que la, uh, uh, nous défendons la démocratie, nous, dé, nous défendons les institutions démocratiques, nous défendons le, le respect du droit, du droit national et, et du droit international, nous défendons la protection des femmes, nous défendons Uh, la, le droit à la prospérité économique, le droit à la santé, le droit de vivre en paix avec vos familles, ça, cela est valable pour tout le monde à travers le monde. Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, que Dieu bénisse le peuple. Oh, merci beaucoup, merci, merci, merci. Merci, merci, merci. merci hein.
déjà aller mettre ça, comme ça on va, ils vont voir le peuple tunisien, comment le peuple tunisien souffre. Euh, euh, je, vous mettez juste... Euh, je, je, Dites-moi, genre... Pro, tu, professeur, tu... professeur Nkunku, YouTube. Okay. Professeur Nkunku, N-K-O-U, N-K-O-U. Oui, à coller. N-K-O-U, N-K-O-U. Ma chaîne est liée aux Nations Unies. Très bien. Donc, dès que je poste ça, rapidement... Euh... D'accord, parfait. <rire>